Good morning guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Thursday, October 20th. It is a little bit shy of 6 a.m. And I thought I'd pick up the camera and take you guys along and spend a day with me. So today I need to do four miles. So yesterday here in Florida, the temperatures dropped like to like 55, 54 degrees. And it's cold again today, so I will be doing my four miles on a treadmill. But first I need coffee and I wanna show you guys what came in yesterday. Give one second. Okay, actually they didn't come in yesterday. They came in the day before, but yesterday I finally opened them. So the obesity code is here. I am so excited about this. My plan is to spend like about 30 minutes a day reading and dissecting this and then sharing with you guys like what I read and what I think of that. So I've really heard like amazing reviews regarding this book. I'm, I've never heard anyone talk about the cookbook. I was kind of shocked when I saw it on um, Amazon. Like, you know, like once you buy one thing, it's like, oh, people that buy this sometimes buy this. So I purchased the Obesity Code cookbook and I am not impressed. <laughs> no, let's take that back. So let me share with you why. When I, I bought it because this recipe here is something that looks like I would cook, like that's something I would typically make. So my assumption, you guys know, if, you, if you've if you been watching the channel for a while, you know that I enjoy making quick recipes with only a few ingredients, like everyday ingredients. Well, this is something that I would make, but as I was looking through the book, as I was looking through the recipes, I was thinking like, this is for rich people. <laughs> Some of these ingredients, like, I don't know. I mean, wine is not for rich people, but I don't drink. So I would have to like buy the wine in order to cook some of these things. And then, um, don't make fun of me, but what is Gruyere gri gri cheese? G-R-U-Y-E-R-E. -E. I don't know what kind of cheese that is. So that's in this recipe that I wanted to make. Um, and then let's see, what are Alepo flakes? Alepo chili flakes, A-L-E-P-P-O chili flakes. <laughs> and then like tahini sauce, which I, you know, I'm familiar with tahini sauce, but I don't typically buy it, but I will buy that because I can see myself using that again. And then what is mesclun mix? M-E-S-C-L-U-N. I don't know, like, so my first impression was to just send this back and I still haven't, I don't know, I haven't made a decision on this yet, but I'm assuming that most people that follow my channel, you guys like quick and easy recipes and you like to be able to use things that you already have around your house. Um, so I could do the same thing and just use like what I have. Um, but I guess I, what I'm trying to say is that this cookbook would definitely challenge your grocery list unless you already buy things like the things that I just mentioned. But anyways, I need to get coffee first and then I have four miles to do. And then I have a meeting at work at 8.30 that I have to be to. And usually like recently, I've been doing very well at being able to eat my meals at home. However, today is a really long work day and I have to eat on the go. So I need to be able to prepare my meals so that I have like healthy food. And I also have some of my friends and I also have some of my friends are having like a networking meet and greet today for their real estate business. Super proud of them, so excited for them. So that is between four and six, but I have a patient at four. But if I can move him up a little bit, then I'll be able to, I don't know. I don't know. I should be there like before. My goal is to show up before six o'clock. Hopefully closer to five. But let's get some coffee and work out. So I'm still in the middle of my fast. So of course I'll be drinking this coffee black. Also, I forgot to mention that I'm currently 15 hours, 15.07 into my fast. So of course, I'll be having my coffee black and this workout will also be um, a fasted workout. So this is my first workout in the garage, like all season. I hesitate to bring you guys out here because it's not clean, but we're doing this. And because it's early, I still wear headphones when people are sleeping. Yeah, it's a hot mess out here, but garage is not clean. And guess what? It is not on the list for today. 
it's not on the list for this week i don't even know if it bothers you guys i apologize but um i'll let you know when we get to it <laughs> may not even be this month but let's do this workout all right guys so we're having some technical difficulties so when i was cleaning it i accidentally knocked this key off and i put it back but it keeps saying that the key like it can't read that the key is there i have unplugged it i've turned it on turned it off i had my husband come out and look at it i am just so annoyed because it's cold outside and i need to do four miles it's not working we've tried everything literally everything my guess is that because my treadmill is connected to the Wi-Fi and we currently don't have Wi-Fi back yet that it's not working because it needs to like read it and reboot and do all that stuff. So let me go put on some longer pants and a sweatshirt. I don't even know if I have time to do four miles before my meeting, but I'm going to try. You guys, you can't see me, but I am out here in the cold. And not only is it cold, but it's also dark. But thankfully, my husband's with me. I just wanted to show you guys real quickly what I will be taking for lunch. So this is salmon, cheese, and strawberries. And then this is just a salad that I made with some Chipotle ranch dressing. And then I have bacon in the air fryer that is going on top of the salad. So here are my two meals for today. You guys, I'm such a horrible vlogger. Oh my goodness. So I went to my meeting. It was great and I see my first patient and now I'm about to drive like my next patient lives like an hour away um I'm trying to see I'm currently 19 hours and 53 minutes fasted so I think I'm gonna be a little early probably like five or ten probably 15 minutes early for my next patient so once I get like in the vicinity of where she lives I'll probably pull over and go ahead and break my fast because I'm starting to get a little hungry here yeah, talk to you in a little bit. All right, guys, so I just pulled over in a parking lot. I'm hungry. I don't feel like driving a full hour without eating. So 20 hours and five minutes. I'm about to break my fast and I'm gonna grab some food. So I pulled over because I wanted to take a few bites, but I think I'm going to, like this is something that I can eat and drive, the strawberries and salmon and the cheese and I just put like some hand sanitizer got my water here got my fork <laughs> but I am a really messy eater so I'm gonna put take my name badge off and just put this here and I'll probably like ride down the street with my little bib on so it's not going far enough as long as it catches like the food here i think i should be good so how you guys doing how are you doing on your health journeys let me know in the comment section below this is like it's more than four ounces of salmon it's probably more like six but it's really good i just cooked it in the air fryer i have lots of videos on the channel where i've cooked salmon in the air fryer it's so good I just put like lemon juice, salt, pepper, garlic, hit the fish button, bump the time up to 12 or 15 minutes, depending upon how much you're cooking. I really want my salad, but there's really no fast way to eat a salad. I do have time in my day later where I will have time to eat a salad. Today's been a good day so far. I got, oh, I didn't tell you guys, I did get my four miles in earlier. So I'm over my 10,000 steps, which is good. It was so cold this morning. It was colder yesterday morning. Like, at least today when I did my walk, it warmed up some. But yesterday it was so cold that I ended up like not working out in the morning. I moved it to the afternoon. And I went to a coffee shop instead. But I got it done this morning. So I'm proud of that. I wonder what's wrong with my... I shouldn't talk with my mouth full, but... I wonder what's going on with my treadmill. If it's the issue that I think it is, my husband's actually calling around today for a different um, internet service provider because it really makes no sense that we still don't have internet. Like, that's just crazy. Mm -hmm. This is really good. All right, so I think I'm gonna put the camera up and drive, eat a little bit more. All right, so I'm like one mile away 
and I think I'm gonna go ahead and start eating my salad. So yesterday I did like a low calorie day, which is where you have like, there's like up days and down days with intermittent fasting. And I did my first down day where I only had like close to 500 calories. So today it's like a refeed day. I'm good at that. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit of my salad here. And then I'll go see that patient. I do have a tray, but I'm not gonna grab the tray. I'm just gonna start eating. Well, that was yummy. So I need to do a quick voiceover here because I realized the radio was playing. So I stopped and got this Italian sausage and it was 290 calories. I also grabbed pickles at five calories. And then this little thing here was about 220 calories. So I wanted to share that with you guys as well. <laughs> So you guys, I just filled this car up. I'm still using the Lono car because my car is um, currently being repaired like round two from the hailstorm. So I just filled this car with gas and I'm supposed to return it tomorrow. But I'm thinking because I'm covering two cow, hopefully there won't be a lot of gas left, like more than what's necessary. Because when I got it, it had like a quarter of a tank and the guy was like, just bring it back with a quarter of a tank, it's fine. So we'll see. Oh, and I also forgot to mention that I did get a coffee and I used one of those like sugar-free vanilla, French vanilla flavorings since I'm in my eating window. Yes, it has artificial sweeteners, but it was like one of those little ones. I did put it in there. So technically I can't close my window. I shouldn't close my window until I finish my coffee, but just sharing with you guys. Guac. I love guac even if it's processed. <laughs> and here's about how many chips are in there. I think I told you guys in the last video that I was gonna stop eating chips or at least cut back. But if I think about it, I don't think I've had like a complex carb yet today. Not that these are, but they would be the first like carby thing I've had today. Outside of like fruits and vegetables. And it's not that many, so hopefully I'll be fine. I don't really know how many calories I've eaten today. I don't really count calories. Yesterday was the first day that I eyeballed them because I needed to know what 500 calories looked like. If I haven't already, I'll put a picture of what I ate yesterday right here I really prefer eating lunch at home when at all possible because when well, most times I don't have the opportunity to just stop and get food like this but when I'm home I have like good stuff so I know if I like eat what I prepare and I still want more food, I'll just grab some grapes or grab some strawberries or grab another piece of salmon or grab a little bit of chicken breast or chicken thighs. And then also whenever I'm, whenever I'm eating while working, there is a little feeling of like feeling rushed to try to hurry before I have to get to the next patient. I guess I could be more proactive and like setting my schedule better, but some days, like today, I'm covering two counties. So, in one of the counties, some of the roads are still out. And it's the county that I don't live in. So, I'm not familiar, like, with the area as well. So, I have to account for a little extra time. I think I'm about done. It's just crumbs. There's only crumbs left in there. We're done with that. I think the guy sitting to my left, I think I may know him. <laughs> That's how much guac is left. Oh, I still have tons of pickles, but I'm done. My belly is full. All right guys, so it is currently like 6.25 and I just got home. 
So as soon as I left that patient's home, I went to the event, I drove to the event that took about, the drive was like about 25 minutes. And I spent like about 15 minutes or so at the event. And then, so there wasn't like much food left at the event. My husband picked up a couple things, but um, and I got McDonald's. <laughs> I might close my window out, but no, I did not. So, if you ever want to get me a McDonald's, um, like I love to eat clean, but I still love some McDonald's fries. Not even gonna lie. I think like for me, McDonald's has this like nostalgic meaning behind it, which is so crazy, right? But I just remember like, cause when we were kids, we didn't get to go to McDonald's all the time. And it's not because like, well, I don't know about the whole money part, but like going to, just driving through a fast food was not what 80s babies did. Like when you went to McDonald's, it was a big deal, right? So um, yeah, and getting like a cheap uh, Happy Meal and the toy and all of that. So McDonald's, you've ruined us. But anyway, so I got, I like the number seven, which is the cheeseburger meal, two, two cheeseburger meals. And I just like to eat the, the burger. Like I don't eat the bun and all that, I toss that out. But I did eat the fries. <laughs> And I think I just said in my last video, like, I need to cut back on my carbohydrates. But let me tell you guys, we will see on this week's weigh-in how I do. Because currently, I am trying to, I feel like I'm at a little bit of a plateau, a little bit. Not like, not a huge one. I haven't been at the 218, 219 mark for a long time. But I do feel like I was kind of like at a little plateau. So what I've been trying to do, which I probably didn't explain well earlier, is I did a 500 calorie day yesterday, which is considered, like there's like up days and down days, like where you can decrease your calories on one day. Um, because basically what you're trying to do is like bridge too fast, like the fast from the day before. If you guys have ever heard of like alternate day fasting, you can actually go with like a whole day without eating and like eat every other day or whatever. But if you don't wanna like do the whole day, for me, I love to eat every day. So you can also do like 500 calories on the day that's supposed to be like your alternate day, the days you're not eating. I just wanna pause right here and add that it's not as much as the calories that we're watching as much as we are monitoring insulin. So yesterday I did um, 500 calories and then today I just, I just ate like regularly. I don't, like I mentioned, I don't normally count calories. This is the first time that I've actually like even been a little bit aware of calories since I've been doing intermittent fasting. But I know I'm not explaining this well, but I will go back into like a detailed video about this, like maybe in a live or something, but I just want to get this done because I need to shower and do like other work here so that I can go to bed at a decent time. Um, so yeah, so tomorrow I'll actually do 500 calories again. So I'm trying to do this because I want to like break my plateau. So what I'm really hoping is that um, Sunday, because you guys know this is week 12, of the 12 week transformation. What I'm really hoping is that on Sunday morning when I weigh in, that I'll be able to break that 218 or 219, like the 219 mark, um, and maybe get back down to 218. That would be nice. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing. And then I am trying this for this week. I'm only doing two days. Today, Thursday, um, and then, I'm sorry, I did yesterday and then I'll do Friday. And if I have good results, then next week, I'll probably do it on Tuesday and Thursday will be my 500 calorie days. Um, and then I'll just see how it goes. It's just something that I'm trying out. Like I always say, you guys experiment with your body, like nothing is set in stone. That is one thing that I've learned on this weight loss journey is that sometimes you just have to do like what works for you and just be like an experiment of one and see how it goes. So um, if you guys come back on, Monday's weigh-in video, I'm so excited! I hope my body, mm, I hope that I've lost some inches. I feel like I have, like I feel like I've lost inches. Um, so yeah, I, oh, oh, I wanna share too. We got, my husband told me that while I was at work today, the people came, so we should have Wi-Fi now. That is so exciting. So hopefully my treadmill works because I went out this morning, like in the cold to do my workout, but I can't say that I enjoyed it. I got it done, but I can't say that I like truly enjoyed it as much as I would enjoy being in warmer weather. Um, so yeah, I don't wanna drag this video on. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to come back for Monday's video. 
I am, I'm actually going to start that video um, probably on Saturday because I, like I wanna do like a little storyline like of the 12 weeks. I feel like that would be so fun. And I just wanna use like some of my creative juices and make that video well worthwhile watching. If that makes sense. All right guys, thank you for spending the day with me, but I need to go shower. Bye.